Hey RNL fam, welcome back to our channel. If you guys are new here, smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that notification bell because we post three videos every single week. Hey, love my part. <laughs> so today is our last night on the cruise and we realized we did not give you guys a full tour of the ship. So me and Lily are gonna run around right now giving you guys all the cool stuff and the favorite parts. Starting with deck six, which is where we stayed. Yes, and Lillian has her VTech camera here. Do you wanna show them? So this is the VTech Kitty Zoom prank cam and Lillian's been using it for a few days now but we're gonna tell you all about it and show you her using it she's gonna take some pictures around the ship it is so cool it has so many awesome unique features and she is in love with it she's been using it non-stop all right so she just took a selfie while we were talking and printed it instantly so awesome and we'll show you guys all the other cool features you guys when I tell you Lillian is seriously obsessed with the VTech kitty zoom print cam she had a blast taking pictures and printing them right away on the cruise she was able to preview the pictures on the color screen before printing them in black and white That's so cute. by far her favorite feature was the flip up lens so that she could take plenty of selfies. She also loved adding stickers and filters to the pictures. I was surprised that she didn't run out of paper based on how many pictures she took, but it's nice that they sell refill packs, so we definitely brought one of those. On the side of the camera, there's an SD card slot so we can save all of her photos and videos and transfer them to our computer later and save them forever. Lillian has been loving her VTech Kitty Zoom print cam. She's obsessed with it, so it's a perfect holiday gift. The holidays are coming up, guys, if you want to grab one of these. They make amazing gifts, especially if your little ones love taking pictures and selfies and capturing memories and they print instantly, which is amazing. So make sure you pick that up. We'll put the link in our description. Right now we're gonna go on deck six, which is the floor we stayed on because there's a lot of stuff to do for the kids. So if you have kids, you're really gonna love it. So we're starting at the back of the ship at Boardwalk. This side you'll see has a lot of cool stuff for kids. It's like a, it's like a boardwalk. It's like a full carnival boardwalk. Coming down to the carousel into the boardwalk, you're met with Zoltar some games like basketball you got the dog house different kinds of hot dogs anything you can want on top then we got the carousel the beautiful carousel Lily want to ride yeah. next to carousel is playmakers bar this is a sports bar and grill and they have wings they have different drinks and things like that here lots of sports going on so people love this place right next to the carousel and the hot dog shop is sugar beach so there is a lot of ice cream and candy in there. All right, so we are in Sugar Beach right now with all the candy. Lily's gonna take a selfie of us. And print. Aww, yay. So we're gonna ride the carousel one more time. Sorry if it's really loud. <laughs> so now continuing down the boardwalk. So we have Playmakers, and then we also have Johnny Rocket hamburgers right across. Amazing burgers and hot dogs and shakes. If you dine here, it is an all you can eat, but it is a small charge. On deck six, we also have the Abyss, which is the 10 story tower all the way from deck 16 down to deck six. It is so much fun. Honestly, it's not as fast as you think it would be. Uh, my daughter did it, she's five years old and she had a blast. Another really cool spot on deck six is right behind me. Kids love going in there and climbing up to the top. All the way up there, it's hard to see at nighttime, but there is a zip line on deck 16. I went two times today. Down the slide? Yeah. Yeah, you were very brave, I was proud of you. Here you have the rock wall. So you can access it from deck six right here. You just kind of go up the stairs. That is also a lot of fun. There's another one on the other side. This is probably my favorite part of the ship. This is the Aqua Theater, and they do amazing shows from here. So right now the show is called Intense, and they're diving from up on the rafters. They're playing drums. They're just doing all kinds of stunts, and it's all choreographed so well. We saw it twice on this cruise ship and loved every minute of it. Boardwalk behind us, walking inside. So we have the Solero's Bar right here with live music and drinks. Your shore excursions, pictures are right here. And then right now we got lucky, the rising tide bar is going up. The bar will go from deck five all the way up to Central Park and deck eight. And it travels every 30 minutes and takes a couple minutes to get to the top. Really fun experience. We've done this before a couple times too and it's really just, it's just a unique experience. So now we're on deck four, which is where you should start a tour, honestly, if you're gonna start from the bottom. I started the tour on six because that's where we're staying and that's the, the best floor to stay on, I believe, if you have kids. But what you're gonna find down here, anything below this is just like where you get on and off the ship and I think where the crew stays. We are in the back of the ship right now. So we have over here a specialty dining restaurant. 
So it is a zumi, so it is a hibachi and sushi. I think next time we might do the specialty dining package and experience all of the specialty dining because we've heard it's really good. So right here you have your main dining room. Right, so Lily's giving you guys a tour of the main dining. So this is where you're gonna come if you wanna get your normal sit down service, really your formal dinners. There is a ton of tables, so it actually is down on three as well as up on five. So lots of seats in here and it is beautifully decorated right now for Christmas. So also on deck four is gonna be Studio B, which is where there's gonna be ice skating. The ice skating rink, so we actually got to skate. There's an ice skating show that we went to and there's also laser tag, which if I can put some footage in, I'll do that right here. Hold it down, Lily, go, 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 go. <laughs> Get him. Honestly, like a super cool experience, especially when you're floating on the largest ship in the world. All right, you ready, girly? So on the other side of four, we have Royal Theater which right now the show that is playing on the Wonder of the Seas is called The Effectors Crash and Burn. We saw this last night and honestly, instantly became one of our favorite shows and that is in the Royal Theater. There was drones, there was action, there were superheroes, there was villains, like the kids loved it. They were enthralled the entire time, which is hard to keep our kids' attention for that long. So it was a really amazing show. Now we're gonna take it up to deck five and show you guys the Royal Promenade. Helpful tip about your elevator. The day will be right here every day. That way you know what day it is. It's Saturday. It is Saturday. While you're on vacation, you can keep track of time. Um, oh, another cool feature about Wonder of the Seas in the elevators. They have gone digital, so it shows you here all the floors you can go to. So we're going to five. They have nice helpful pictures here of each floor that kind of tells you what's on it so you don't get lost. So now we are on deck five in the Royal Promenade. We have Spotlight Karaoke, Starbucks, and this is Boleros which is a Latin music bar, very popular. There's also various shops where you can buy souvenirs, and in the middle of the little kiosk constantly rotate items like watches and clothes. You're met with Sorrento's Pizza, which is hands down my favorite part of the ship because they serve pizza all day and night. So me and Lillian are gonna stop for a slice of pizza. Across from Sorrento's is Cask and Clipper, which is a pub style bar. We happen to catch all the chefs here making a really cool village out of gingerbread, and we got the after so we could show you that too. It is really cool, just in time for the holidays. The last thing on deck five is the Cafe Promenade, which has snacks throughout the day, little finger foods that you can get, and they serve Starbucks coffee. All right, so we're on the elevator going to eight right now. Love the art in the middle. So the other side was a giant worm. This side is the origami, all the way up. Such a cool feature. Are you ready? Eight, let's go. All right, so here is Central Park. Beautiful at night. The state rooms here with the Central Park balconies. So we're gonna tell you guys, if you are new to cruising and you have kids, this is a fun activity for, for kids and adults, honestly. So we're gonna tell them, what have you been doing the whole cruise? I've been finding ducks. Finding ducks. All right, so people, um, People hide ducks throughout the cruise ship. We actually hid a few this year as well, but they hide ducks all along the place. A hot spot for hiding those ducks is Central Park. So if you have kids, go in Central Park because there's tons of bushes that people love to hide them in. So that's a really uh, unique fact. Uh, the kids honestly like cannot get enough of it. We look for ducks everywhere. Boardwalk is another hot spot and deck five is another hot spot. So those are probably the three best places to find these ducks. All right, let's show them Central Park and show them the, the beautiful ambiance. You ready? Ambiance is like the atmosphere, like how like nice and nice and serene and peaceful it is. All right, let's go. All right, so fun fact about Central Park is all these plants you see, um, they actually transplanted a lot of them from Central Park in New York. So these are real plants, beautiful, and it's just like so crazy that you're in the middle of the ocean experiencing all this beautiful nature. So Lillian, she's looking for some ducks right now in the bushes, nice and gently not to ruin the bushes, right, right? In Central Park, you have Giovanni's, which is another specialty restaurant. It's an Italian kitchen. You also have Park Cafe, which is a great spot for breakfast, lunches, and actually they have some really nice dinner items. Like they had a roast beef one time that was out of this world. Um, so just another spot that you can eat for free. This is not a specialty dining restaurant. They have some really cool art. Awesome hedge wall, which goes all the way up. All right, so in Central Park, you can see there's an astronaut. These little guys are hidden all around the ship. I found some on the pool deck. There's some on the rock climbing walls. So if you guys spot one of these, make sure you take a picture with it. Maybe not this guy, because he's a little close to the glass, but he's still there hanging out. The other end of Central Park, so this is where the Rising Tide Bar comes. So right now they are going down. So they just left not too long ago. Also in Central Park, 
is Chops Grill, which I have heard amazing things about. Chops Grill, specialty dining restaurant as well. So we're gonna show you the rest of the stuff tomorrow morning when it's nice and bright and early, and we'll show you guys the pool decks and things like that. So we'll see you guys very soon. Good morning, RNL fam. All right, it is the next day. Um, we are getting ready to depart right now. I need to go up to deck 15 and return my towel. If you don't return your towels, you're gonna get charged $25, so make sure you keep track of your pool towels. On the way up to 15 though, can't forget deck 14 has adventure oceans for your little ones. They have a full section where your kids can run around and play. It's very enclosed, so it's nice and relaxing. The kids have a blast and you can sit there and relax. Also, they have different camps and activities throughout the cruise where kids are gonna make arts and crafts and you can bring your little ones there and they'll watch them for free while you guys go out to dinner or anything like that. So keep that in mind. So this is the solarium. It is temperature controlled on this ship. As you can see, it's completely enclosed, so they keep it nice and cool. It is the perfect temperature year round and it is beautiful. Beautiful windows, you're gonna catch some really nice views from up here. As you can see, we are, we are docked in Orlando, Port Canaveral. This is an adult only area, so 16 and up in here only. So there are definitely plenty of spaces on the cruise for kids, so it's nice to have one area sectioned off for adults. Um, so going out onto deck 15, now you're gonna have you're gonna have the two big slides here. So the perfect storm, awesome slide, super fun if you love water and thrill. And then you have this slide as well. So a nice tube slide goes into this funnel and then you come out. Looking down from deck 15 onto Central Park, then you also have the kitty splash pad. So this is for smaller ones, kids that are not potty trained. And then this is for the bigger kids, a dump bucket and a couple of slides, water tables. The best part about deck 15 besides the splash pads and pools is sprinkles here. So that is where there's gonna be soft served ice cream pretty much all day, every day. Another great thing about Wonder of the Seas is there is plenty of seating as you can see here. I don't think anyone had an issue finding a seat. This is a really cool pool that has little um, chairs that are in the water. All right, and now we're at the opposite end of 15 and you have your Windjammer Cafe. So coming into the Windjammer, you're gonna have hand washing stations all along the walls where they ask you to wash your hands before you enter. Two identical sides, so they're mirrors, so this side and that side are all gonna have the same things. The one thing I would say about the Wonder of the Seas is that the wind jammer is huge on this ship. Um, we never had an issue finding a seat, which on cruises we've done in the past, we've always had issues finding somewhere to sit because it's so busy. One thing I would say though, if you don't have dining packages and you're going between Windjammer and main dining, is your main two dining places, make sure you check what they have each night because honestly, some nights in the Windjammer they have certain Caribbean dishes. Like last night we had roti, um, one time there was oxtail. So different things like that that you're gonna miss out on if you go to main dining because main dining is more traditional kind of dinner food, sit down dinner foods, American style. Now we're going up to 16, so you're met with an arcade on this side. So it's a pretty nice arcade, the games are paid. So if you wanna play, you're gonna have to pay. There are options to preload your kids' cards with like tokens and things like that so they can play and have some fun in there. Um, now, I wanna give you guys one of the best kept secrets. We went on a cruise before and this restaurant was there but now on Wonder of the Seas, we actually made it and tried it. It is El Loco Fresh. This is their taco bar. In El Loco Fresh, it's open I think until like 6 p.m. most days. Um, they're gonna have all kinds of things to make tacos, burritos, nachos, and then uh, all the toppings and fixings. It is like a buffet style, so whenever you come in, you're gonna get in line and just come down the line buffet style. But man, that food is so good, it is worth it. They also have a bar here that serves up specialty margaritas. Also on the back of the ship, there is a sports deck, so basketball. We have mini golf, which we've played a couple times. The kids really love running around at nighttime. This is lit up and it looks really cool. The zip line is up here on deck 16 where you go all the way across. And then there is also the playground for the kids. So this is the start of it right here. There's slides, there's kind of a trampoline mesh and lots of play things to do here for the kids. It's like spans three levels. If we weren't in the Adventure Oceans playground, we were definitely here playing outside. And right behind me, you can see this is the abyss, the slide that me and Lillian went down. And Rachel actually went down it too. But this is the top of the abyss. The last thing up here I would say to note 
is the Flowrider. If you love boogie boarding, wakeboarding, surfing, anything like that, the Flowrider is going to simulate that experience and it is really fun and it's actually easy for people that, you know, aren't that great. The instructors will take you through how to do it. So don't be scared. Try it out. It's a lot of fun. All right, one last little tip before I go. On deck 16, there is these vending machines with, well, Pokemon cards, all your essentials. So anything you want to get, walkie-talkies, headphones, sunscreen, um, even nails, toothbrushes, toiletries, even some medication. If you guys forget anything, don't be concerned. Deck 16, they're gonna have some really awesome vending machines that I've never seen on other ships, so this is a great feature. All right, so that concludes my brief tour of the Wonder of the Seas. Um, kind of the stuff that we stuck to. There's so much more to do, honestly. Just get on the app, grab a map, ask somebody, you know, what's fun to do around here, because there's so much, you're never gonna run out of stuff to do. But we love you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.